What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Seth, and today we're going to be talking about the Trove, Trove, Trove new event that's going on. Now, I know that the majority of you guys and gals have probably already completed it because this event is not entirely difficult. Most of all, the difficultness comes in the form of a new dragon that ended up being added to the game, but we'll talk about that uh, in a separate video that's going to be coming out today because I ended up actually grinding that guy out, and oh man, is it... Uh, it's super time consuming and crazy, but anyways, for the event, you're going to actually end up getting two things. You're gonna end up getting this little ally right here. Uh, the cute little cow dude down there on the ground that you can see. Uh, his stats kind of suck. You get uh, minus 8% incoming damage and 4% to your max health. That's it, uh, as well as 10 mastery, obviously. And then this mount right here, which is, I, I kind of like it. I, I don't know, it's just kind of a reskin of the budgie mounts, but it looks kind of adorable, kind of like a pigeon or something. It's not supposed to be a pigeon, obviously, but it's going to end up giving you some mastery as well. So definitely an event worth doing, but more importantly, because the last reward that you get in the chain is the one that I would say you have to complete this event, folks. You absolutely have to complete it. If you haven't already, get it done. So anyways, before we get started with all that, would appreciate if you would hit that like button. And let's get started. So, the first part of the quest is to defeat 20 dungeon bosses in the Forbidden Spires. Now, the Forbidden Spires biome is a bit of a conflicted biome because it can spawn pretty much in any world. Uh, the developers, unfortunately, or fortunate, however you want to look at it, acknowledge the fact that people rarely play this game, and even when they do, barely they barely end up getting to use six. And because of it, we've actually seen the Forbidden Spires biome completely inconsistent with the rest of the game it is in novice all the way up it's in every single type of generation i don't know why they did this uh, well i do they said it's because nobody and uh, nobody gets to use six in the first place so they just added it to every type of biome generation which is stupid like it's too inconsistent and honestly speaking as far as a new player is concerned the forbidden spires is a pretty difficult place uh, to navigate compared to the starting novice dungeons but i would still recommend that you end up going into u6 for this because u6 is going to end up generating the forbidden spires biome a lot more frequently than anywhere else and it's going to be a massive biome so you're going to be able to you know farm it like a crazy person so you got to complete 20 dungeons that can be a little bit time consuming not entirely difficult and then you're going to end up getting the baby brown cow ally so why not you know a free ally is always a good thing uh, and then up next, you're going to have to mine 200 resources within the Forbidden Spires. So again, the entirety of this quest is going to take place in U6 in the Forbidden Spires biome. Again, you can be in any of the other areas. You don't have to be at U6 difficulty, uh, but it's just going to be the easiest because the biomes are going to end up being the biggest. And you're going to be conflicting uh, dungeon completion with a lot of other people on the map and stuff like that, right? So 200 resources is just anything. So you just have to mine. It, it's not cinnabar, it's shapestone. Anything that ends up actually generating within the Forbidden Spires biome, you can just mine out and then you're gonna get five Velm Brilliance. I mean, I, I can only say that that's good because the resource is otherwise time gated now, but that's still not very good at all. Then you have to defeat five Jade Scarabs. So I'll insert some footage of what these enemies look like, but you guys already kind of know. Uh, I'll actually hop into U6 as well because it'll make things a little bit easier for the video. But these guys, you know, they're they're just a Jade Scarab. So you can kill these guys from dungeons. You can kill them out in the world and everything like that. They're they're fairly easy to find as far as just a normal enemy is concerned. Uh, and you just have to kill five of them and then you end up getting 15 Dragon Coins, which 15 Dragon Coins is not that good, but I don't know, especially when you compare it to Bound Brilliance, but the reward for the next part is even worse. So now you have to defeat uh, three Phantom Foxes, or Fox Phantoms, I guess, uh, is what the game calls them, and those are just going to end up being the, uh, well, they're the foxes that you end up finding out in the world, just generated. Uh, again, you know, these guys can end up being dungeon bosses. Uh, actually, I don't know if they can be dungeon bosses, but you'll just end up finding them out in the world. Here's one right here. It's the exact same as the adventure mount that you can end up getting. Uh, you know, there's the one that you get from the adventure chest in this biome. Uh, and then after completing that and killing three of them, you're going to end up getting five Titan Souls. Absolutely disgusting. Like, that's not a good reward. We got plenty of Titan Souls. Then you have to collect three Forbidden Spires recipes. So that's going to involve you going through the biome and completing recipe dungeons. So 
If you're playing with a group, I'd recommend that you avoid the recipe dungeons until you get to this part in the quest line. But it's, you know, again, you're going to be fighting against like everybody else that's out in the world doing all this stuff. So it's it's not like it's going to end up being something you can actually focus on specifically. That's just going to be these dungeons right here with the big giant green and they're really cool dungeons. I actually really like them. And then oddly enough, you're going to get three metamatter out of it. I wish that the devs would stop giving us metamatter. I understand that metamatter is a very difficult resource, but the fact that they're still trying to force us into the geode area just doesn't really seem like it has much of a purpose, especially when it's only three metamatter. Like, three metamatter does not make much of a difference. I mean, for people that are at the beginning uh, of geode, okay, sure. But there's a lot of other things that they could give us, in my opinion, right? So anyways, then you have to defeat three dragon ogres. So these are going to end up being the dragon ogres. We just call them dragons because that's exactly what they are. You're going to find them all over the biome, not in, uh, you know, not to mention dungeon bosses specifically. Uh, more so than not, you'll actually find these guys almost always as a three star boss. So if you find a three star dungeon, then they're fairly easy to go for. Uh, all of the enemies can end up dropping the scales for the new dragon, by the way. But uh, again, I'll talk about that in more detail. I do want to mention, though, that those dragon enemies, near as I can tell, have a better drop chance of uh, the item. But maybe that was just random generation um, in my favor, right? So and then you're going to end up getting the mountain magpie. So that's going to end up being this mount right here. He's absolutely beautiful. I love him. And uh, yeah, then finally the last part of the quest is going to be that you have to defeat uh, three jade bound phantoms, which is actually this guy conveniently walking up to my face right here. So you just gotta go and defeat three of these guys. Fairly easy, you can get them on uh, the Cursed Skulls wave defense missions. Uh, you can find them just out in the world or just, you know, in dungeons in general and stuff like that. And then you're going to end up getting the blue dragon scale. Now, I am going to talk about the dragon itself in more detail and actually show it off in another video that's going to be coming out later today. But I do want to uh, kind of get a point across in this video for you guys and gals to say just how important it is to actually end up going for these scales, like above all else for the event because the dragon itself uh, and again i'll go into more detail in the video but the dragon itself takes about i don't know it takes a couple hours uh, to end up uh, actually grinding the dragon out and getting all the skills that you need to say the least it's more than a couple hours right but uh those 25 sacred uh or sagely blue dragon scales as they call them 25 is a very very big deal it's the same as them giving us 25 dragon scale or 25 uh, dragon fragments for the spider dragon, you know, or or maybe even for Starfire. Except obviously those dragons are a little bit harder. Uh, but generally, it's really really good and going to save you hours. Literally, it's going to save you hours of grind time to actually go and get your hands on the event items themselves because the amount of you know the drop chance of actually getting these scales is pretty bad not to mention the scales themselves are going to end up conflicting with fiery feathers which is absolutely disgusting but uh anyways it's still a really cool event the next one that apparently we're gonna have coming is uh i think october 23rd that was the last time that the devs talked about it anyways it's supposed to be the shadows eve or halloween event so until then that's gonna pretty much do it for me today everybody so thanks for watching really appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it helpful if you did don't forget to like sub hit that notification bell and if you want to support me you can always sponsor the youtube channel by hitting that join button down below checking the link in the description for my merch my God. we got the old high mark shirt as well it is in the store i still don't have mine i don't know why it takes like a billion zillion years for it to end up actually reaching me but either way uh, and then last but not least, for those of you that don't have any money, but you still want to end up supporting me. Joe, no, that's spoilers. You're not supposed to show that in this video. <laughs> that's the blue dragon. It's it's just a reskin of the lunar dragon. Again, I'll have a separate video that's going to talk about it, ladies and gents, because uh, for today's video purposes, I most of all just wanted to focus it on the event itself. But anyways, there will be a link in the description to Gawkbox. That is a way that you can actually donate to me for free. Basically, you go through the link with your phone, associate it with your YouTube account. It doesn't steal anything from you. Don't worry, I promise. Uh, and it'll 
just tell you download this phone game play it for a couple minutes or get to a certain progress point within that phone game and then you quite literally will end up being given free money that you can then donate to yours truly through the form of stickers and these stickers will actually show up in videos as well so thanks for watching everybody very much appreciate it. hope you enjoyed good luck sign on stay up it